Hello, welcome to the workshop. In this video, we're gonna be looking at this. This is the Samsung Smart Hub Remote Control. And we've had this one for a year and it stopped working. The right button is now dead. No YouTube, no Netflix, no nothing. What a pain in the backside. So we're gonna get it on the bench and have a look and see what the problem is. So when we bought our Samsung TV about a year ago, it came with this, it's a universal remote, and it came with a smart hub remote. Now, this is the one that we use most because it's light, it fits in the hand great, and you can move around like a mouse on the TV, perfect. But it's given up. The right hand button, you cannot use anymore to browse Netflix, YouTube, and Amazon. You can use the back button and the up and down, but you can't use that right hand button. So, you're gonna have to have a look and see what the problem is. Now, if we look at uh, the remote control, this is the smart remote control. Now, if we fire the button, we can see that that LED is going. Now, the only problem is that we can't really see the LED uh, using the smart, even I'm pressing the buttons, we can't really see with that. I'm gonna put it right up to my little macro camera. Can't really see it, so I can't really, I can't really test it in the workshop here, but I know that that right hand button doesn't work. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it apart and I've taken the back cover off at the moment to see what we need to open it. And it looks like we need a posi drive. If I can, there we are, there's a posi to get into this back section here. So I'm gonna take the batteries out and we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, so if we look in the back of the remote control, oh, turn the camera up the right way, there we go. We can see that there's a couple of posi screws there and there's a couple of screws down here which we need to open up. Now this unit number is an RMC TPH. RMC TPH 1AP1. If that makes the slightest bit of sense. So we're going to open this thing up. I'm going to switch to our top camera. There we go. There's the top camera and using the screwdriver, we're gonna take out those screws. For some reason, this is always the slowest part. and the bottom screws. I know this part's boring, but there we are. Right, so, to have a look, it's those screws there, which are coming out, and we're gonna take out these screws here. Now, the unit should simply come apart. One screw. Oh. So, one, two, one, two, three, four screws, so we're gonna keep them safe. <laughs> so we've opened up the remote control. It's kind of, it's kind of in two parts. Um, there we go. Okay, now that looks like fun. Not sure if there's gonna be a lot we can do with this. So 
So the battery terminal. And that looks like that looks like a hair. Maybe a hair from one of our little dogs. <laughs> um, okay, so there's the remote control. I need to be able to get to the buttons really, and I think the buttons are on the lower side. Yeah, those buttons are going to be on the lower side. This is going to be a bit of a pain to get into. So, there. Okay, so there is a, a switch cover which is removable here. Uh, it seems to be on a bit of flexible plastic there. Um, Right, we've pulled that out and this board, let's see if this board actually pulls up. There we go. So the board actually does pull up. Now, time for macro cam. So it's kind of a two part. It's kind of a two part board. There seems to be a button section. As a as a small uh, ribbon cable also, which seems to join across now that's going to be difficult to take off so my original idea was that maybe there was a switch inside that could be replaced but it looks it looks like any switches that are inside are actually on the circuit board themselves there's no actual physical doesn't seem to be any physical switches in there it's more looking like press pads so my thoughts with this really is that it possibly won't be possible to re repair it um, yes right we'll take it apart a little bit further These are the, what looks like press. These are molded sections in there which press the buttons down as you put your pressure on the finger. Um, and they fit in this plastic section there. So without those in there, there's a there's a ribbon cable. There's a ribbon cable there. Okay. So that right board. I can try and identify where the button is itself. So with these pieces of plastic removed, we can then proceed to try and take out this ribbon cable here. So we can try and take out this ribbon cable, which is just here. Uh, this is gonna be quite fragile, so I'm gonna use a very small pair of pliers to just ease it out. I'm not sure if that's actually going to work. Maybe with the fingers. A very small screwdriver.
be very fragile with it. There we go. Tiny little connector has now just come off. And as we've done that, we can now hopefully open this up. So with that very small connector off, we can now open up this button board on the remote control. Now the right hand button, which is this one here, is this little pad here. Now that's what gets pressed down. Now, so really this is the part which we need to make sure works. Now I can hear it click when I press it. When I press it, I can hear it click. So it must be making some type of contact. But that is the cause of all of our problems. That tiny little pad. Now, my idea was to try and put a new switch in there. I thought we could put a new switch in. But it doesn't look like that's going to be possible at this stage because of the size. So I've got a feeling that I don't think we're going to have to be able to fix this, um, I think really what we're going to have to do is look at getting this unit, which is the uh, replacement remote control from Samsung, uh, and here we are, it's listed on Amazon, uh, and I think that's probably going to be the most straightforward way of doing it. So I don't really think we're going to have a chance to fix this one. The circuit uh, switch is so fragile on there that I don't think we can put a new switch on there. So unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to buy one from Amazon after all. But it was worth having a look to see. I think I'm just going to stick this. Oh, I'm just going to stick this one in the bin, and um, and take it from there. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for any new videos. Anything really, it's more of a hobbyist thing. Um, but if you're interested in finding out about how we can come to electronics from kind of like circuit design to things with screens and you name it, uh, please just subscribe to the channel and uh, I'm